Electoral Commission has described as unfortunate comments by the minority leader, Haruna Idrisu, which sought to attack the integrity of the commission. According to the EC, claims that it has received personal protective equipment from the government are completely false. EC's response comes after Haruna Idrisu questioned the commitment and competence of the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Madam Jean Mensa. And on that basis, we have Sylvia Arno, who is the Acting Director of Public Affairs for the Electoral Commission, and uh, she will be speaking to us in a moment. Hello, Sylvia. Good evening, and thank you for your time. Good evening to you. Right. So, um, what is your immediate reaction to Haruna's allegations? Thank you very much, and um, a good evening to your listeners. Yeah, let me say that um, the Electoral Commission has issued um, a press release, you know, um, to view of the fact that um, a press conference was held last, last week, somewhere, like, somewhere last week, by the minority leader, Honorable Haruna Idriso. And uh, the Electoral Commission has responded accordingly. The right, but listening to the uh, minority Haruna Idrisu, he did say mm -hmm. that his comments were based on reportage on two media houses uh, in Accra. So, have you checked with the media houses why they put out that reportage? We decided to. No, I, I, are you, uh, are you saying that we should have checked from the media reportage from which he extracted? the information to hold the press conference. Is that what you're trying to say? That is the claim he is making. We are saying that, you know, we, we thought that we should um, respond to the kind of allegations mm. he made during the press conference. So okay. let's speak to that. Okay, so has the EC procured PPE? The Election Commission has not, uh, as we have stated in the press release, we have not um, we have not procured personal and put any personal and protective equipment. Do you we have, have not procured it? Yeah. We, we are in the process of procuring it, and let me say that we have not received any personal and protective equipment from government. That's what we should be talking about because mm -hmm. that's the allegation he made. Yeah, so, like you were saying, do you intend to procure some anytime soon? Of course. Um, once we will go ahead, we're going to go ahead with the registration exercise. It is only prudent that we uh, procure um, personal and protective equipment. So, um, the general public will be protected. The applicants who turn out at the various registration centers will be uh, really protected. So that's exactly what we are doing, and um, it's still in the pipeline. But right. that was not the only uh, mm -hmm. issue okay. raised by the honorable uh, minority leader. There were other issues as well. All right, I, I think we will speak to those issues. Also. But is the EC planning to, um, to organize the 2020 elections? So far, we have not heard that you have postponed the elections and we have not heard that it's been cancelled. Uh, no, the, the elections will come on as schedule, God willing. Um, we are not out of the woods yet uh, due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. You know, that is staring us in the face. And we, 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 we are monitoring the situation. We are in talk with the Ghana Health Service. And as soon as the, like we indicated earlier on in the press release, you know, a few months ago. As soon as the pandemic is brought under control, we proceed with the registration exercise. So, is uh, it observing all the, um, let me ask, that observe, we are going to observe all the safety protocols that sold out by the Ghana National, Ghana um, Health Service and the Ministry of Health. All right. So, is, is there any particular guideline that you would want to make us aware of which you think that the political parties who are your immediate stakeholders should be thinking about for now since the elections definitely is going to come off they are main the political parties are main stakeholders there's no way we're going to organize registration 
for registration of uh, exercise without informing them. Uh, we'll definitely communicate all these um, information to the uh, political parties as well as the electorate and all other stakeholders involved in the exercise. Right. Thank you so much, Madam Sylvia Anno, Acting Director, Public Affairs, Electoral Commission, Ghana.